welcome to my channel uh, this video is about those especially the Eurobars who think that one way or the other that the Aswadibola Metinubu presidency is a presidency that uh, is to favor the Eurobars or to project the Yoruba interest. And uh, if you remember, not a long while ago, the governor of uh, Lagos State, Samuelu, he advised that the Yoruba should see the Aswadibola Metinobu presidential ambition as a Yoruba project. He actually said this in the light of the fact that there are so many Yorubas who are who are not buying to the uh, Aswadibola Metinobu's uh, Yoruba presidency propaganda who are looking at it objectively as election that has to do with the future of Nigeria, not necessarily about the Yoruba sentimental or parochial interest. As a result of this, these uh, Yoruba professionals, academics and otherwise, they are looking at the coming 2023 election as an election that will redefine the future of Nigeria for all and not necessarily a Yoruba agenda as uh, Sangulu and others wanted uh, to paint it. So this video, I'm making it to show that uh, Aswad Bola Metinubu has never been a player who plays for the interest of the Yoruba. It has always been for his own interest. And I will show it uh, by using the example of what Yorubas who have worked directly with him in, uh, in shaping the destiny of the Yorubas and how Aswad Bola Metinbu portrayed it. And I'm going to say this from the information that was revealed by a Yoruba himself, who is a close associate of Aswad Bola Metinubu. And that person is uh, none other than uh, late Yinka Udumakin, the former National Publicity Secretary of Apeni Ferry. He has documented a lot of things about Aswad Bola Metinubu and his rule, both in destroying Afeli Ferry and uh, in working basically just for his own personal agenda and not for the Yoruba agenda. And uh, I will use the example of what uh, Yenka Odomaki said about Yoruba politics between 2003 and 2007. If you recall, in 1999, the Eurobars, all the Yoruba states were under the control of Alliance for Democracy. Alliance for Democracy was actually a political party that is literally set up by Afeni Ferry as a result of the annulment of the June 12th. 1993 presidential election, which a Yoruba man, uh, uh, Chief MK Abiola, was poised to win. So, in 1999, all the Southwest states were controlled by Alliance for Democracy. However, other parts of Nigeria were being controlled basically by the PDP and the MPP. 
But as the election of 2020, 2003 was approaching, when Obasanjo was looking for second term, there was a need for Obasanjo to, to, to take over Southwest so that he can boss, uh, increase his uh, uh, voter harvest, especially as there was a uh, need to show that Obasanjo also can get support from his own zone. Uh, I, there, so, um, Yinka Urumakin wrote an interesting article where he explained some of the things that uh, happened which showed exactly how the events of 2003 happened, whereby all the states that were hit at to Alliance for Democracy was taken over by PDP, except Lagos State. And uh, it is, it is, uh, I will put the link of that uh, story by Inka Odumakan Odumakan at the bottom of this uh, uh, video so that you can go and verify it. Now, Yinko Odumakan, when he started writing about this, he first of all started with a quote by uh, Alaja Tiko Abaka, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party in 1999. But Atiku said this in 2018, before the 2019 election, because Atiku was at the tick of that arrangement to take over the Southwest. Look at uh, what he wrote. He said, he said, this is Atiku talking. In 1999, the entire Southwest was under the control of the Alliance for Democracy AD. When we were approaching the 2003 election, I told my boss, former President Tolu Shebun Basanjo, to give me the authority to take over the Southwest from the AD for the party. He gave me the approval. My effort during that election resulted in our party taking over the states, except Lagos State. And the reason was that Aswadibola Metinubu and I came a long way from the Social Democratic Party, SDP, and the PDM. I felt I should leave Lagos for him. In fact, I could easily have taken over Lagos, but I didn't. I have since regretted my decision. Please, my sisters and brothers in the party, I want you to forgive me for taking Lagos out of that arrangement. As when uh, Elijah Tukwabaka made this statement in Lagos on September 3, 2018. That was when he said this. And he was saying this at a, a get-together at a, a party rally of the PDP in Lagos. Now, do, Yinka Odumakin know this thing all, 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 all the time. He knows this. But before now, that was not the story that Aswad Bolame Tinubu was told Nigerians. Now listen to the Yinka Odumakin, what he said. Yinka said, until Atiku detonated the above bomb in Lagos recently, the line Tinubu spinners had put out was that he became the last man standing in 2003 in the Southwest because of some sagacity and that he broke ranks with Afeni Ferry over the alliance with Obasanjo. But, this go, but those of us 
who were aware of what happened, know that the monkey has no special skill beyond the fact that the trees are close to each other. The sacred truth is that the deal to have a electoral pact with PDP in 2003 was brokered by Tinubu, who had planned to run as vice president to Atiku in 2007 under the then ruling party. You, you got that as well, Bolame Tinubu has an ambition to run as vice president under PDP, even though he was in AD. The discussion started during the convocation ceremony of the University of Lagos in 2007, where Tinubu kept the company of President Olusegun Nobasanjo. It was during the event that he agreed to arrange a meeting with his colleague governors. The meeting held at Rodan Barak in Lagos, and the governors agreed to work on a pact to give the president the support he needed. In the Southwest, just as they advised him not to allow local government elections nationwide, so it would not hurt his delegates at the PDP convention as his party would not have won in the Southwest. So uh, Tinubu brokered the deal to with our Basanjo to ensure that the whole of Southwest goes vote for Basanjo in 2003 election. Now before I go further to expose the aspect of how of how this thing that was done supposedly for Yoruba interest was actually for Aswajibola Ahmed's tribu's interest and how he betrayed the rest of the Southwest governments. To show you that he has never been a man who works for Yoruba interest, but just for Aswajibola Ahmed's tribu's interest. Uh, before I go further, if you are not new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, anytime I have a new video, you will be among the first to know. God bless you. Now, let us continue in the words of uh, Yinka Odumake. Now, Odumake wrote, he said the governors who had taken control of the AD as of this time merely came to inform Afeni Ferry of their discussion. They reported all their discussions with the president and the fact that they advised him not to con conduct elections. Papa, Papa Adesanya, like a general whose troop had moved in a direction, decided not to follow another, direct, another route. He decided to follow up on the briefing by, by negotiating. He decided to follow, follow up on the briefing by negotiating terms for the pact, which included free and fair election and restructuring of the polity. While the deal was in the making, Tinubu gathered, listen very carefully, while this plan was in the offing, Tinubu gathered through Atiku that the deal would cost the governors their seats and quickly bailed out. But their bed did not tell the other beds. But this bed did not tell the other beds. So, while this arrangement was on, that they should work for uh, Obasanjo to win in Southwest, the plan had been, had been changed midway. It's not only that the PDP want to win 
the presidency in Lagos. They now want to win the governorship positions in Lagos. In uh, the um, that it's not only that the PDP want to win the uh, the presidency in the whole of the southwest. They also now want to win the the whole of the governorship seats join in the southwest. I think we reveal this secret to Ashwadbola Metinubu. But Tinubu did not share it with his fellow governors in the southwest. So listen to what uh, Yenka Odumaka is saying. He said, while the deal was in the making, Tinubu gathered through Atiku that the deal will cost the governors their seats and quickly bailed out. But the bed did not tell the other beds that a stone is coming. He didn't tell them that a storm is coming. He didn't tell the others. He quietly withdrew from that arrangement, but he didn't tell anybody. That was how he remained the only surviving Alliance for Democracy after the 2003 general election. You got that. As when Bola Mechinubu betrayed his fellow Southwest governors. Because when he heard from Atiku, who was at the center, who was the enforcer that Obasanjo sent out to capture Southwest, when Atiku revealed to him in confidence as a friend that, look, we are not only coming to win the presidency in the Southwest, we are taking over the governorship positions of the whole of the Southwest. But I will leave your own for you. As Wadibola and Tinubu did not reach out to other governors in the Southwest. That was how PDP took over Southwest. And today, people think that. The reason why Tinubu survived was because of his political sagacity. It was not. It was just based by privileged information, based on his relationship with Atiku Abaka. But you would have think that in a, a, a politician who cares about the Yoruba land, because the Yoruba land in 1999 spoke in one voice and said that they would not support Ulushegu Nobasanjo, who was then the candidate, who was then the candidate of the PDP. And they rejected him in favor of the candidate of the Alliance for Democracy, Chief Now in 2003, Obasanjo wanted to reach out to them so that they can now support one of their own, which is Obasanjo anyway, so that they can support Obasanjo this time. And when that arrangement will cause political tsunami against his co-governors, as well, Bola Metinubu did not reveal that information. He preferred to be in the good book of Atiku because his mind was that if Atiku will get the presidential ticket of PDP in 2007, remember this event happened in 2012, if, if Atiku gets the candidacy of the PDP in 2007, he, Tinubu, will, be, will then defect to the PDP and capture the vice presidential ticket. That was the thinking of, of uh, Tinubu, which was captured in the writings of Yinka Odumaken. Yinka Odumaken is no small person. He is the spokesperson or National Publicity Secretary of Afenifera. He was at the center of several things that happened in Yoruba land in the effort to revalidate MKO Abiola's mandate, the formation of AD, the emergence of the governorship candidate, even to the point of helping Tinubu to emerge as the uh, governorship candidate of AD. Despite the stiff opposition that Tinubu faced at the time. 
So he is in the know of what happened. And he documented it. And this documentary, this his documents, I will share it at the bottom of this, uh, this video when I finish the series. So that people can really come to understand that those who are sticking out their neck, thinking that as when Bola Medinugu is, is for Yoruba, is actually for his just personal interest, not even for Nigeria. From what he performed, from what Yinka Odumaken is narrating here. Now let's, let's go on and uh, look at the other things that Yinka wrote about this particular event. He, this is Yinka Odumaken writing now again. He said, the former governor of Oyo State, a large lamb additional, was not a happy man with Tinubu in the last days of his life over this and other issues. I recall when he came to meet the elders of Afenifere in Lagos late in 2003 and asked to live early enough to be able to get back to Ibadan on time. Chief Ayo Adebanjo had told him to either be Tinubu's guest for the night or that, or, 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 or that would he say that he didn't have a house in Lagos a large additional responded with a thing of anger His, uh, and said, God will not let me sleep in Tinubu's house. I don't have a land in Lagos, not to talk of a house. Tinubu promised to give me a land, but he kept asking me for passport photographs until I told him I was not going to the photograph again. This is somebody on whose behalf I asked the principal of government college Ivado to keep all crucial files of the school in my office for three years. I have returned the files on the eve of my departure. You see, you can see how selfish I have certain centered as for the Bolamitin Bua is this uh, Lama Dishino was governor for your state. When the problem started first with Bola Tinubu, that he did not attend the government college Ibadan, which he claimed to have attended. This Lama Dishino was the person that hid the fire from that school. In fact, the stories have been told of how Lama Dishino ordered the principal of that school to bring all the files of that era that will cover the period that Tinubu claimed to have attended that school to his office. And it's that incident that Lama Adesina is narrating here, that he did all these things for Tinubu. But when he wanted to get a land in Lagos, which Aswad Bola made Tinubu promise him. Lama additional claimed that Tinubu was dribbling him, asking him for photograph, which obviously means that Lama additional was bringing photograph. Maybe after some time, Tinubu would say he didn't see the photograph again, he should bring another one. He said he had asked him, asked him to bring so many photographs that he said he would no longer go to any photographer to go and snap, just just to get a land in Lagos. So it is an indication of the kind of politics that Swadbola Mentinubu plays. And people think he's representing Yoruba interest, that the Yoruba should vote for. I think the Yoruba should look very well and vote for who will make Nigeria better in 2023 and not get carried away because Tinubu is bearing a Yoruba name, therefore it is one of their own. They have to vote for him. They shouldn't make that mistake. What uh, Yinka Urumakin has shown in this revelation, which when I finish this series on it, I will put the link where he wrote about it. And good enough, 
Tinubu never replied to these revelations. He never debunked it. Not at, at anywhere I know. Because I have searched for Tinubu's response to it, to debunk the story. Yinka Odumaka is a very courageous human rights activist, a pan Yoruba activist, a nationalist, a believer in restructuring of Nigeria, who, who, who is very courageous, no matter who's us in God, he says the truth. He has documented some of these things to show the world and Nigerians who Tinubu really is, that Tinubu is only working for his own personal interest and not for Yoruba interest. Now you can see uh, evidence of it. In 2007, he was already projecting being vice president to Atiku Abaka, not minding whether Atiku is a Muslim and himself is a Muslim. You can see how in 2023, when he got the ticket, he has gone for Muslim, Muslim ticket. He doesn't care who's ox in God as long as he gets what he wants. Instead of taking to cognizance the fact that Nigeria is a multi religious society, there's the principle of federal character and all that. That has always been his way. It's all about Tinubu's way or the highway. It's not about the Yoruba. So let nobody be deceived that Yoruba interest is the same interest with Aswad Bolamed, the most interest. It's always for his own interest. And that's what Yinka Odumakin has shown in his revelation. You can see how he betrayed the whole of the Yoruba governors to remain the last man standing. All the states in Southwest was taken over by the PDP except his own. And he knew when this tsunami was coming, but he hid it to himself so that he can survive and remain the only orc that grew in the whole of the Southwest. Of course, he has used it to build for himself a kind of uh, political empire, which for now he believed that nobody can challenge him in the Southwest. That was perhaps his, his thinking why he, he did not to reveal something that is coming to endanger the political career of all the Yoruba governors except himself in 2003. And he hid it to his own advantage and to the disadvantage of the rest of the Yoruba land. It's a typical example of the kind of politics that he plays. So the Yoruba should shine their eyes and no, especially those who think that they are voting for Swadibola Metinuba out of Yoruba affinity. They are actually encouraging Swadibola Metinuba to fulfill his personal ambition. But that is not the Yoruba interest. And if we are to tell ourselves the truth, Yoruba interest would have been better served by having the best of the Yoruba as president of Nigeria. And you can't look any further than uh, former vice president, uh, the vice president uh, Yemi Sibanjo, if we, are, we can tell ourselves the truth. Because if Southwest is to produce a president, Southwest is full of highly intelligent, energetic, and smart people that could be, be, make excellent president for Nigeria. That is why uh, I made this video to remind them of what Yinka Odumakin, a fellow Yoruba, said about Aswad Bola Metinubu to guide them properly and to let them realize that if they look very closely of all the presidential candidates now parading for 2023, it will serve the interests of Yoruba and Nigeria for them to support a candidate like Peter Obi of the Labour Party. 
it will be in the interest of all Nigerians to elect somebody like that who has capacity, who has the, 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 the health, the energy, the strength to be able to run this country at this particular difficult time. It is not a time to be sentimental. Sentimentality will only play into the hand of Aswad Bola Maitino, who, truth be told, has always protected his personal interest and not the interest of the Yoruba. And I will still reveal more in the words of Yinka Odumakin. I'm not the one saying these things. It is the word of Yinka Odumakin, well documented, so that we can all share it. I have this information. But no matter what we later decide to do with it, but the important thing is that you cannot say you didn't hear this before you cast your vote. Thank you for watching this video and uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you.